Um, we play, came together, played well as a team, we had a lot of energy, and this is a game we really wanted to win, so I think it was a fun win for everyone here. 13 strikeouts for you tonight in the circle. What, what was working for you? Um, I love to throw my screwball, my drop ball, mix them all in, but um, I truly have a defense behind me that, you know, we've got some people in new positions and we're learning here and this pressure and putting the ball in play is good for us, so I know that when I throw a pitch that my team's behind me all the time. True. Uh, you've only walked four batters this, this whole season, uh, didn't walk any tonight. What's kind of been that mindset in the circle in terms of just, you know, keeping the ball in the strike zone night yeah. in and night out? Um, it really helps to work ahead for me, but um, I also can have that ability because I have a strong team behind me, so it allows me to be able to throw strikes because I know even if they hit it, there's defense behind me. Third inning, they tied it up at one in the top half, and then you guys responded with, with two runs there in the bottom of the third. How big was that from the team's perspective to, to answer right back and take the lead right back? Um, I think that's huge, especially for our momentum as a team, you know, for us to have the ability to come back at just after an inning, you know, I think that's really huge for us and really good for our program here. Big game tomorrow night with uh, with a ranked West Monona squad, and then you close out the week with a corner conference tournament. What's it going to take to kind of keep this momentum rolling for you guys? Uh, it's going to take staying together, just playing as a team, you know, keeping our energy up. And you know, we know that we're coming in here. We got a day off on Wednesday. We're going to work hard, and we're going to go out this weekend and Thursday, Friday, and do well in the corner conference tournament, hopefully, and then play well in Washington. Um, I thought they had a lot of energy tonight, and that was one of their goals coming in, um, and just played like offensively we just stayed patient and stayed disciplined um and kind of let things happen when we when we yeah, um, you know, you guys gave up that run in the top of the third, tied it at one. How big was that to respond right away with a, a two spot there in the bottom of the third and get the lead right back? Yeah, that was that was good. And the girls just came in really determined, like, okay, it was back to zero zero, yeah. and it just started over. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, Carly Milliken once again in the circle, big for you, 13 strikeouts tonight. What, what's it like watching her night in and night out deliver for you? Uh, yeah, I just. Um, continue to just always be amazed and impressed with her composure, um, how smart she is out there and the command she has over her pitches. Um, it just is a huge asset for us and spend a lot of watch. Uh, you know, now 17 and one on the season, nine and zero in the conference. What, what kind of growth have you seen from this team since you guys started the season to this point where you're really starting to get into that, uh, you know, trying to play at your peak as you're getting close to the postseason? Um, I think we've, we've seen more discipline and more patience offensively at the plate, like with our pitch selection. Um, that's been showing up a lot the last couple, the last couple weeks of play, and and just. Um, more of a calmness and composure under defense too, like working through situations, not getting rattled, and just yeah, you know, next play. Uh, big one tomorrow night with the ranked uh, West Monona squad. What's it going to take to go up there and get a win? I mean, we're just seeing to play clean defense for sure. I know they um, they got some speed and they like to put pressure on the defense, so we just need to pay, take care of the ball and play our game.